I am less sick, so I am probably going to be doing a lot of dry coughing during this. But tonight is the night before the presidential election for the United States for the upcoming four-year term. Everybody on the planet knows this. We've heard about it for the past 399 days, and this is my last chance to appeal to you. There's a challenge on the internet um, for content creators to talk about who they're voting for, so this is what we're doing. In the primaries, I voted for Bernie Sanders, um, because I thought he was the best candidate. Now is not the time to write in Bernie Sanders. Bernie Sanders actually does not want your votes, and he cannot get them. Now is not the time for third parties. Nobody is going to win. Now is the time for looking at our system as a broken system that uses first past the post, which I cannot really explain. Basically, just go watch the CPG Grey video. Or is it CGP Grey? I don't know. <coughs> um, now's the time to look at it realistically and pick one of the candidates. So I'm going to read my first ever political post on Facebook on Facebook to you all, and then we're gonna see what happens. So first, I posted about college stuff, because in today I found out that I got into Gordon, the college that I visited, that I really like, and is literally perfect except it's LGBT status, which is where Calvin takes the cake, so we'll see. So, I then posted this. A less joyous post than my last one is in order. For the first time in my life, I am old enough to vote. I cherish this right greatly, and I am proud to use it, even if I do not think this is a good first election. Frankly, I'm glad to spend my first vote on this election because it is so horrific and important. Neither candidate is desirable, but it's clear to me who is the one who will bring our country farther from Iran than the other. Also, you will note that I am speaking as if the election was binary. As long as America uses first-past-the-post voting, all elections truly will be binary. A vote for a third-party candidate, writing someone in, or refusing to vote merely hands your vote to the candidate you don't want. Many, many wise people in my life have told me not to talk about politics on Facebook. Side note, they'd also probably tell me not to talk about politics on YouTube. Oh well. Um, but I haven't seen too much hatred and vitriol on my feed. And I fear for our nation. I fear that if people like me, people who have clear convictions but are afraid to discuss them, stay silent, then our country will be on a path towards the destruction of the lives of millions of Americans come Wednesday. I am voting for Clinton. Surprise, surprise. I urge you to vote for Clinton if you haven't voted already. I understand your worries. I have read your qualms and factored them into my decision. I have heard all the arguments. I've spent the precious free time I've had for the past 399 days. American campaign cycles are 400 days. Researching and researching. Trump cannot gain the presidency. If you need any convincing, I found a blog post that articulates my thoughts and also my general thoughts on a lot of political views, which, side note, I will leave in the description, but also we'll talk about at another point. Um... For everyone who thinks it is not my place to speak on this, or who thinks Facebook is not the place for politics, I would never dream of posting this any other circle. But there is a f But there is a first time for everything. So then I have a little chit-chat that I'm going to read with some people. Um, I have a class- an old classmate of mine from before I repeated junior year shows up, and he posts Clinton. That's absurd. So then I type out, I've been reading your posts in the past, and I definitely appreciate your points. They've raised issues that make it hard for me to support her, but I cannot stand behind Trump after the things he has said. Also, there are numerous issues with both his policies on taxes and healthcare. Side note, which I encourage you to watch the Vlogbrothers videos on, which I actually sent this guy, but whatever. Um... That will ruin the American economy beyond a point of recovery. Finally, I also have very serious issues with Pence and cannot justify voting for Trump based on the better VP. 
They both frankly terrify me beyond belief. Clinton merely frightens me considerably. And that's true. Clinton frightens me considerably. But Trump terrifies me beyond belief. Especially as young resident queer person. <coughs> so then... Mm, this kid asks me, who can keep our country's secrets safe? Or secret? The guy who no one could figure out his taxes? Or the one who has classified emails read? So then I send him a paragraph that, if this is the window of Facebook, is this long? And I'm just gonna read that, and then we're gonna call this quits, because I have stuff to do. Um, so... I say, I'm not interested in country secrets. I'm not even really interested in America as a country. I'm worried about who is going to pull more, put more Americans in harm's way. I'm terrified on behalf of myself and other disabled people. And Trump has abused in his businesses and harassed and marginalized in his campaign repeatedly. I'm terrified on behalf of women who will one day may feel the need to have an abortion. Not because I think abortion is good, but because I'd rather lose a fetus to a sterile procedure than two people to a coat hanger. I'm also worried about all of the women who use Planned Parenthood for their health care needs, those who are trapped in abusive relationships where a baby would make it even harder to leave, and those Trump will bulldoze once they give birth because they are immigrants or below the poverty line or otherwise not ideal Americans he wants. I'm terrified on behalf of all women, frankly. Women deserve to have a leader who doesn't publicly advocate for rape. I'm terrified on behalf of refugees and other immigrants and anchor babies, children who were born here whose parents are deported. I'm terrified on behalf of people of color. How can they feel safe when Trump has allied himself with the KKK by not denouncing their support? In addition, Make America Great Again is a campaign that dismisses the struggles of all people who aren't white men. I'm terrified on behalf of religious minorities, namely Muslims, who deserve a safe country like you do. I'm terrified on behalf of those who have HIV slash AIDS because... In America, rates of infection are rising, while Trump's Vice President Pence wants to commandeer funding to support conversion therapy. I'm terrified on behalf of the lives of our soldiers, especially more... Especially... I should have put as. More of the people I know commit to a life of military service. Even though Benghazi was horrifying, Hillary has more qualified foreign affairs experience than any of the other candidates at the beginning of the election cycle did. Trump, meanwhile, asks for Russia to commit espionage against the U.S., calls for nuking ISIS and ignoring things like the Geneva Convention, which is what separates generals from terrorists. He also has repeatedly stated that he will use torture, which, which puts us on the level of those we are trying to stop. I'm terrified I'm behind on behalf of those who, if Trump is elected, will be killed by gun violence. And I'm terrified on behalf of the LGBTQ community. I don't care what your beliefs are on gay marriage or mandatory health care coverage of hormone replacement therapy for transgender people. The lives of members of the community are just as valuable as the lives of people outside the community. LGBT youth are four times more likely to attempt suicide than their cisgender heterosexual peers and that rate <coughs> is 20% greater in unsupportive environments than in supportive ones. LGB youth who haven't experienced bullying had the lowest rates of depression of any group, including heterosexual classmates. And transgender youth who have social inclusion, protection against bullying and violence, and parental support have significantly reduced rates of suicide consideration and attempts. Basically, the culture surrounding the community directly parallels rates of depression, suicide attempts, and sexual er, or successful suicides. Trump never talks about the community except to say, gays love me. Um, but by aligning himself with Pence, who wants to torture the community into being straight, he has shown he is an enemy of all LGBT people, especially LGBT youth. 
I want to ask you something. Why are emails, however many of them, and however important they are, the target, the largest of your concerns? Clinton has been found innocent of any criminal activity, so it shouldn't be relevant. You show me a mistake, and I'll show you a psychopath who's coming for me and those I care about. Also, I'm hella queer, so... Whatever. Then he's all like, those aren't my largest concerns. As a Christian, I do not believe a man should lie with a man. I do not believe that abortion is moral. I do not believe in a lady who is trying to take office solely for her financial wealth to go up. I do not believe that we should elect someone who has openly said she has a private and public stance on everything. She has called blacks, black super predators, voted against gay marriage. She lives two lives. Which life are we going to see in the White House? She rigged the election to beat Bernie. She has done everything she can to win in the win this and has cheated her way through. Now let's pause. I'm not saying any of that's not true. <coughs> I'm just or I'm not saying any of the stuff about Hillary he mentions isn't true. I'm just saying Trump is worse. So I respond. I believe that letting men lie with each other is more moral than torturing them until they lie about not being attracted to each other. I believe that losing one life to a legal abortion is more moral than losing two to a coat hanger or a back alley shape procedure. <coughs> I believe that Trump has no genuine interest in promoting the goodwill of America either. You criticize Clinton for flip-flopping, but Trump's done that, too. And then I list a source, but literally just Google Trump changing positions. Uh, so I say, some examples are here, insert that link. But these are very limited. There are scores more available. Which Trump will we see in the White House? The Republican campaigning? The Democrat from 2004? The man who invited the Clintons to his wedding? Who are you voting for? And he doesn't respond. And there's a lot more politicking going on. <coughs> but now I want to turn to you all. If you can, if you are an American citizen, if you are over 18, if you are registered to vote, if you haven't already voted yet, I strongly urge you to vote for Clinton. Because I am at incredible danger if Trump wins. And I'm not even the person who's the most in danger if he wins. <coughs> but I am frankly terrified. Some of you may have been around to watch the videos I made in the aftermath of the Orlando shooting. You know how terrified I was then? That's how I'm feeling now. And we don't even know if he's going to win or not. Please vote for Clinton. If you don't, I'm not going to be mad at you. I'm not even really going to be disappointed in you. Just go vote. I'd ra I would rather... I would rather young people who watch me, if there are any of you, as if I'm not a young person. I would rather you, my friend who's watching go vote for Trump and not exercise your right to vote. That may come back to bite me in two days. Please vote for Clinton, if you can. YouTube's not paying me, Google's not paying me, Clinton sure isn't paying me. I just don't want to die.